and we're continuing to follow the fallout from the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. In the last hour, trading in several regional banks has been halted. And one of those banks is First Republic, which had received support over the weekend. So let's take a look at uh, the big board right now, see how the stock market is reacting. If that's a reaction to any of this, it's hard to tell. It's up just a little bit, um, but we'll keep watching throughout the day. In the meantime, let's bring in CBS News contributor Javier David. He is also the managing editor for Business and Markets for Axios. You can explain what has been going on since <laughs> Friday and just how significant is, is this? What is the significance of trading? Well, let's explain this. What's the significance of trading in these stocks being halted? The significance is it's indicative of a lot of volatility. And the sort of short answer that I have for you is, uh, it, the, the volatility itself is indicative of a lot of fear in the market, some of which is justified because you just had basically three banks over the last three days uh, go under um, in some form of fashion or get taken over. Uh, the market is just very fearful and investors have a way in an environment where there's a lot of uncertainty. You don't kind of quite know where the next disaster is going to come from. They kind of shoot first, ask questions later, start selling everything. And right now, the focus of that selling is regional banks. People mm. are uh, mistrustful about uh, what is being done with their money or whether they're going to be able to access their money. Uh, we, the, What we're seeing in markets is, um, I guess, and for lack of a better term, speculation. Uh, the market is acting on fears. But we again, we just kind of don't know how much of what is happening in terms of these stock prices and the volatility and the very sharp declines that we're seeing is translating into people actually physically trying to remove their money from banks or having difficulty doing so. Javier, we heard the president talk speak about two hours ago, giving remarks on this Silicon Valley Bank issue. Uh, what have, what have the reactions been across the board and of the federal government over the weekend? Yeah, I mean, uh, basically what we saw yesterday and what we heard from uh, President Biden today is in an effort to kind of reassure Americans that the banking system is stable. What the biggest fear is and, and kind of what an expo the exponent of all of these socks selling off is just kind of a fear that like we're having some sort of a bank run. That I think is the fear of that is much, much more sort of resonant than the reality of it. But it, that's not stopping all of these stocks from selling off dramatically. And that the fact that the fear itself can actually become reality because if it means that people see this happening and they start pulling money out of their accounts en masse, then that becomes a problem for the banks. Javier, um, you know, the president talked about uh, increasing regulations that during the Trump administration, regulations were uh, eased. Would increased regulations have have stopped this or modified it or wouldn't it have been as intense? Mm. Well, there's an emerging consensus, I guess, uh, that suggests that when the case of SBB, which was a very specific, I think we should be very clear, clear that what happened with SBB is very specific. They have a very large concentration of uh, startups and technology clients, all of which got caught wrong footed by this dramatic surge in interest rates that we've seen, which is, you know, another outgrowth of the Federal Reserve's hiking campaign. Um, but there's a, a consensus that ASBB in and of itself did kind of a bad job managing risk um, and managing its books. Um, but there is like a concern about, okay, where did the regulators get it wrong? Like, should people have caught this? Um, and those are some of the questions that we're, are being asked now. Um, and we don't have answers to, but there, after the, the all of the dust settles, clearance about like, you're gonna see a lot of uh, sort of unpacking about what happened and people are gonna want answers. Javier, where does this go next? Right now, basically, I think we just need some sort of uh, settling in the markets. I think investors really need reassurance that uh, the banking system isn't being jeopardized, and uh, I don't believe that it is, but uh, that, of course, doesn't stop speculators from sort of driving down stock prices. Um, and so what we need is just kind of to sort of do what President Biden did try to do earlier this morning, which is reassure uh, Americans that uh, banks are fundamentally sound. And uh, it looks as if that, the, the you know, the market's running away um, independent of like actual concrete evidence that something bad is amiss, but 
uh, we just have to sort of wait and see and kind of like take a deep breath and realize that some of this is very specific to um, either specific sectors or for specific institutions, but not necessarily indicative of a, a whole run like banking failure. Mm -hmm. All right, Javier, as you said, uh, take a breath, sit tight. Sometimes easier said than done. We see the markets are still up a little bit yo-yoing this morning. Javier, thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely.